Lincoln Center, Carnegie Hall, Broadway. Some of the most remarkable stages in the world are right here in New York. But one of the city's biggest stages isn't up here, it's down here. The Big Apple subway system is home to hundreds of performers. Alice Tan Ridley started performing at subway stations. This underground stage helped her reach the semi-finals of America's Got Talent, but she still calls this bustling Times Square station home. What we do is why they made stages and auditoriums to have shows in. It all started in the street. It all started on the ground. Steve Zeitlin, the founder of City Lore, has been working to preserve the city's culture for years. He says artists had to push for their rights to perform underground. It was hard fought to get the legal rights for street performers. A series of street performers that, that challenged that, the system and say, saying that it was performing was a First Amendment right and performing on the subway was a First Amendment right. Artists were rewarded with Music Under New York, an MTA program that supports those lucky musicians who pass auditions by giving them licenses to perform in certain spots in subway stations. But you don't have to be a Music Under New York performer to play on mezzanines and subway platforms. In fact, everyone has the right to perform without passing an audition, like me. I believe I can fly. But if you want to make it down here, you better have what it takes. Cooney senior Joey Mitchell, who plays the drums at the Union Square station, says to be a New York City subway performer requires determination. If there's a popular place you like to play, you got to be punctual, get there early. Um. But the hassles are worth it to performers like Ridley, who credits it with launching her career. You got the world looking at you. People visit New York daily. I got fans from around the world. Zeitlin, whose group promotes the work of subway artists, considers these performers part of what makes New York magical. They're, they're sort of what makes our world you know, worthwhile and interesting. The value of people being able to individually express their art and living outside of that corporate stranglehold is something that's very important for our society and for, for our culture. And for the audience, it's a chance to dance their cares away. And what, what I really love about it is that somebody who's been working all day, probably hating their job or loving their jobs, but really overworked, come through here to catch their train and all of a sudden they slow down. They take a little time to do something for themselves because when you sing a song, even though it might make you teary-eyed, it still changes your world right then. So it doesn't matter if you're a full-fledged musician or can't carry a tune. New York City subway might help you find your harmony. For NYU Tonight, I'm Michael Thompson.